D45 Tech Talk and the Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is using the screen shade. So what is the screen shade? The screen shade, it's like using the paper to cover parts of the transparency on the old overhead projectors. It's that simple. It's used to hide information until it's needed. As you're presenting, you don't want all the information showing at once. You use that to block the parts that you don't want showing. It's used to focus attention on the current piece of information. And finally, it is a simple tool with a large return on the effort, meaning it's very simple to put on a page, but the impact, hiding the information, focusing the attention, is large. So a simple thing to do with a large impact. So I have a friend who got his doctorate in educational technology. He studied the educational benefits of some of these effects in Smart Notebook and on other websites and other technology tools. The effects can be educationally helpful. It's going to enhance the learning. It's going to make the content more easily remembered. In some way, it's going to enhance the learning, make the learning stick. It's going to make it better for the students. An effect can be educationally neutral. It neither enhances nor harms the learning. It doesn't do anything. It's just there. And finally, these effects can be educationally harmful. It harms the learning. It could be that it's distracting. It could be somehow contradicts or is opposed to the content. So I want you to keep those in mind as we look at this next example. This is a page from a file that I made and I've made it several different ways. Different ways that you could show information a little bit at a time but I want you to think about how each one of these ways could possibly be educationally helpful, educationally neutral, or educationally harmful. And obviously we don't want anything to be educationally harmful but hopefully educationally helpful. That's really what, as teachers, we should be going for. So this was from a file on contractions. This is one way of keeping information off the screen using a pull tab. If you need it, it's there. I just talked about where the word contractions comes from. But now I have some points here on the page that we're going to talk about. So we've got this up here, and I tap the box. And the first one, okay, now I want to go to the next point. And we're going to talk about one or more letters are taken out of a word. Okay, what was that first point? Oh, we don't have it. Can't go back and we can't see it. Our third point. So thinking back, educationally helpful, neutral, or harmful? Now be honest, how many of you are more focused on how does that work? How did that happen? As opposed to the content. That's what's going to happen with a lot of kids. Educationally harmful. Same page. I'm not going to keep doing the uh, pull tabs because it's the same information. So here, instead of tapping it, I could drag the box down and it's the same points. I can go back if we need to see the other points, but they're not showing. Educationally helpful, neutral, or harmful. Again, probably harmful. How is it? How are they appearing? What's happening? How does that work? And also, you, you don't see them. So there's no context. You've lost the context of all three of them together. But these are popular ways of revealing information in smart notebook files that you'll find on many files that you download. Not to mention, these are also in order of the most difficult to create to the easiest. Okay, here's the same page. i drag this down. How does that work? Educationally helpful, educationally neutral, or educationally harmful? Probably neutral. There still may be kids who are trying to figure out how is that working? How does that happen? It does have the benefit that all three are there, so you can now refer to them and talk more about them. Neutral at best, possibly still harmful. 
I don't know if you can see it here on the video, but the faint, the words are there faint, that's because these are click and they have a, an object animation, the fade in. So when they're clicked on, they fade in. Very similar to the things you can do in PowerPoint. Helpful, neutral, harmful. Probably here, neutral. Because they fade in, it doesn't make the learning any better. It doesn't harm the learning, so they're neutral. And the final way now is with the screen shade. Here's the screen shade button. To put a screen shade on, I simply click the button, and now I can drag it from any of the dots. So if this is how I wanted it to start on the page, so I had my heading, I would save it like this. Now I can come in and I can drag it down. Contractions are made from two words, yada, yada, yada. We talk about it, we talk about it. Drag down the next one. One or more letters are taken out. Drag it down to the next one, one apostrophe. If I want to get rid of it, I click the X, it's gone. Educationally helpful. No, having that screen shade is not going to help you remember. It's not going to make that content more easily understood or remembered. It does have the benefit that it keeps the page uncluttered so you can focus your attention one at a time, just like the previous page. So this one, educationally neutral, but it's not harmful. That's the screen shade. You can also drag from any of the dots if you had content on one side that you were wanting to cover up you could also do it like that and then move it up and down this way so that's the screen shade a simple way to focus attention on information simple tool to use one button to put it on there but when you need to focus attention or hide information, probably the best way of doing it because it's educationally neutral and the simplest.